So let's start with another um, KSP and solubility problem. So in this one they give you the KSP and they're asking for the solubility. So since they say that the KSP for LAF3 is that, write the um, KSP expression for LAF3, that's your solid, and that's going to dissociate into La 3 plus and 3F minus. So you can write the KSP expression La3 plus F minus cubed, and there you go. All right, and so they give us the KSP. We're looking for the, the solubility. The solubility is pretty much just those soluble, uh, those concentrations. Um, so if we look at this, for every one mole, we're going to use the stoichiometry here, for every one mole of LAF3, you get one mole of LA3+. plus. So whatever the solubility is for this guy, and remember, solubility is just concentration. So I'm just going to call that LA3 plus S, and I'm going to call this guy 3S, because for every one of these, we get three fluoride ions. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this S and this 3S, and I'm going to plug that into my KSP expression, and I'm going to solve for S. So S is the molar solubility, and I, I got this S and this 3S just looking at the stoichiometry of this reaction. And then I'm going to solve for S, and that's my solubility. So I can just plug those in. So my KSP is 2 times 10 to the negative 19, right? That's what they gave us there, 2 times 10 to the negative 19, which is really, really small. And it's going to equal LA, which is just S, and then F minus is 3S, that whole thing cubed. Now be careful when you do this because you want to cube everything inside that th those parentheses. So you really have S times 3S times 3S times 3S. So you have to cube that 3 as well as the S. So when you work all that out, you have S times S times S times S, which is what S to the fourth, and then 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So you have 27 s to the fourth is equal to 2 times 10 to the negative 19. And now all you have to do is solve for s. So divide by 27, divide by 27, and you get 7.4 times 10 to the negative 21. Yeah is equal to s to the fourth. And now to take, now if this was squared, you would just take the square root, which is the same as raising it to the one half. But since it's to the fourth, fourth power, you're going to raise it to the one fourth. And so you raise both of these to the one fourth. So these are the rules of exponents. If you're a little rusty on your exponents, it's okay. It'll come back to you. So s to the fourth raised to the one fourth power. It's not multiplied by one fourth. It's raised. You're raising that to the one fourth power. That just becomes s. And this guy works out to be about 9 times 10 to the negative 6. Since this S is a molar solubility, your units come back there. So there's no units in K, um, but when you're looking at the solubility, then you want to include your units there. So be careful with your units. Also look at your number of sig figs. This guy only has one sig fig, so we're going to keep one sig fig down here. So all we did in this problem is we started with our, uh, we wrote our um, reaction, and then I said for every one mole, of my reactants, I make one mole of the La3 plus, I make three moles of this guy. So this is S and this is 3S. So whatever the solubility is here of this solid, it, that's the same as the concentration of the ions I get here. And I'll get three times as many ions just because of the stoichiometry. Then I take that, plug it into the KSP, and solve for S. Um, be careful with the math down here. Make sure you try that in your calculator. You are raising this to the one fourth power. You may need to put that in parentheses. Um, if you're getting something different, it may be raising it to the first power and then dividing the whole thing by four. So put that in parentheses. You can also do 0.25. One fourth is just a quarter. Let's try another one of these. Um, so in this problem, they give you, again, they give you the KSP and they're asking for the solubility. So it's very similar to what we just did. This reaction should look a little familiar. Um, so you have your silver carbonate that splits up into two silver ions. You need that two there. Like that's going to affect the stoichiometry of the reaction. And then you have one carbonate. So this becomes 2S, and that guy's just S, right? Just following the stoichiometry of your reaction. Now I'm going to take that S and 2S, whoops, there we go, and plug it into my KSP expression. So the KSP was 6.2 times 10 to the negative 12 is silver, which is 
There you go. Uh, it's 2s. That whole thing's squared. So if you feel like you're using this coefficient um, twice, you are. You're using it right here, and then you're also squaring it. So you, you multiply it by 2, and you also square it. So s is 2s, so that whole thing squared times another s. 2s, uh, 2s that whole thing squared, is 4s squared times s gives us 4 s cubed. My s's are starting to look like 5s. There we go. It's not really any better. 6.2 times 10 to the negative 12. So now you want to divide by 4, divide that by 4, and then to get the, the 1 -third power, raise this whole thing to the 1 -third power. 1 -third. And when you work all that out, you should get what we got before, 1.16 times 10 to the negative 4 molar. Um, let's go to two sig figs, 1.2 times 10 to the negative 4 molar, and that's your solubility. Uh, so very similar to what we did last time, just be careful, keep track of your stoichiometry, that's going to be important. Make sure you square that over there, and make sure you square everything inside those parentheses.